Hello, children. I'm Uncle Bay. Today, I'm going to share a new storybook with you. It is about thoughtfulness on our MRTs. The title of the book is called Max and Robbie's Magical Train Ride. Mom, let us help you run your errands, volunteered Max excitedly. Are you sure you are able to deliver food to your grandparents? Mom was thoughtful. It's going to be the first time you are taking the train on your own. Yes, we can! It's going to be a grand adventure, exclaimed Max's best friend, Robbie. All right, here you go. Stay safe and be gracious on the train, Mom reminded the boys. Through the gantry, down the escalator, and onto the platform, the boys went. Uh-oh! Where are the train doors? Asked a worried Max. Looks like the passengers are blocking the train doors and getting in the way of those alighting. We have to do something, answered Robbie. Clickety-clack came the sound of high heels. Look, it's giveaway Glender, Max cheered. Let's all glide to the side and give way to those alighting. With a step and a slide to the left and the right, everyone parted to make way. After letting others alight, Max and Robbie hopped on board with ease. Give way Glenda, wave them goodbye from the platform and the boys were on their way. One, two, three, four, five. Eager to meet Grandpa and Grandma, Max and Robbie counted number of stops to their home. At the next station, a pink flamingo wobbled and hobbled in. Max, said Robbie. Miss Flamingo looks like she needs a seat. Max looked around, but all the seats were taken. The nearest one was occupied by Mr. Lion. He was busy on his phone and barely noticed Miss Flamingo. Oh, what shall we do? asked Robbie, looking concerned. The shimmer on the sticker behind the elderly lady caught Max and Robbie's eyes. The twinkle and sparkle out came Stand Up Stacy. Hi, Mr. Lion. Would you mind giving up your seat for Miss Flamingo, please? Stand Up Stacy requested. We give up our seats for those in need. Mr. Lion immediately stood up. I'm sorry, Miss Flamingo. I was too engrossed in my game. He apologized. Thank you, Mr. Lion. Stand up, Stacy and boys. Miss Flamingo responded gratefully. Stand up, Stacy winked and popped back into the sticker in the blink of an eye. When the train announcement, Mr. and Mrs. Giraffe lumbered in, lugging two big bags on their backs. It was getting squeezy and squishy. Max and Robbie had to close to avoid being hit by the giraffe's bags. Uh oh, Max, what should we do now? asked a helpless Robbie. Out of the blue, the roof of the cabin opened. Within seconds, Back down, Benny slipped down from a rope. Let's put our backs down, shall we? Let's make space for others. We are sorry, boys. We are so used to carrying these bags everywhere that we forgot to put them down, said Mrs. Giraffe sheepishly. Thank you. It's much more comfortable now, Robbie replied. Thank you for your help, Max called out as back down, Benny ascended the rope. More passengers poured into the train at the next stop and crowded around Max and Robbie near the doors. That's when Max realised we should all move into the middle of the cabin. Uh-oh, but now we are stuck here, Robbie murmured regrettably. Suddenly, the lights dim. A spotlight beam on, casting a silhouette in the cabin. It was Move In Martin. Let's shuffle in to make space for all to join the ride. Thank you everyone for moving in. All of you are the real stars. Gosh, move in Martin. Move in Martin took a bow and vanished into thin air with a poof. Boom, 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 boom. 
Mr. Kuo Lai is blasting music so loudly, I can hear what he's listening to through his headphones. Robbie grumbled. Shh, let's try to get him to lower the volume. Max mouth as he plays a finger to his lips. Quietly, a secret passageway opened up and out came Hush Hush Hannah. Shh. You know what to do, she gestured and whispered. Hi, Mr. Koala. Let's keep our volume down, shall we? Prompted Max and Robbie politely. We can keep this train ride peaceful for everyone around. Mr. Koala immediately lowered the volume of his music and apologised. I'm sorry I got carried away. Max and Robbie rejoice. A quiet train ride is just what we like. Thank you. Indeed, Hush Hush Hannah agreed. She tiptoed down the underground staircase and disappeared from sight. We've reached Sambawang MRT station. Max and Robbie sit in unison as they hop off the train, excited to visit Grandpa and Grandma. As they exited the station, five familiar faces on the poster made them smile in delight. Congratulations on your first train ride without your mom and dad, Max. Thanks, Robbie, for coming along as well. Grandpa praised the boys while Grandma gave them a hug. If we Stand up, back down, move in. It was fun. Oh yeah, don't forget Hush Hush. What an interesting ride, Grandma remarked. Max and Robbie nodded in agreement. It was truly a wonderful, magical journey with thoughtfulness all around. So children, how do you like the story? I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Daddy and Mommy can also read this copy online. Thanks for watching again. Remember, let's be gracious on our buses and MRT.